Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful and very historic country of Germany and I'm visiting one of the most fascinating cities here in Bavaria in Germany. I'm visiting the city of Ingolstadt. In this particular video we're going to walk around this beautiful town, the old town of Ingolstadt. We're going to visit the most important and the most historic sites. This is Vic. We have a lot to see and to enjoy. So let's start our walk. Let's do it. Okay, let's uh, start our tour of this absolutely magnificent German city, the city of Ingolstadt, just north from Munich, here in Bavaria in Germany. Here's the beautiful western entrance this is the trademark of Ingolstadt. If you see any photographs or videos, you will definitely see this one. It is on the western side of the city and it is the only gate out of four that has survived. This gate was built in 1385 out of brick as you can see and it is absolutely beautiful with a tower behind it and most likely when you visit this fascinating city you will definitely come here and cross this famous gate as you can see it is still used for traffic let's Cross it here and let's enter the old town, the medieval part of Ingolstadt. Let's take a view of the gate from inside the old town. You can see how beautiful it looks very early on a Sunday morning right there now let's turn around and let's visit the main sites of Ingolstadt the old town and uh, here we find the old town's largest church. This is the church of our dear lady. Construction started under Duke Ludwig the Bearded in 1425 and the church was not completed until a hundred years later. It's kind of an absolutely strange but beautiful front it has two square towers that are joined to the front in an oblique kind of way, as you can see here. You can see it very clearly on this tower, the way it is attached to the front. It is a magnificent church indeed. Now let's walk around and let's go to the side entrance let's view the inside of this magnificent church. Okay, we are now inside this magnificent church. And what's really striking here are a few things. First of all, the beautiful, the perfect Gothic architecture with huge columns, tall columns supporting the beautiful ceiling right there. There are three naves, very typical to the Gothic architecture. I'm on the main nave right now. So it is beautiful because of the Gothic perfect architecture. But secondly, this church is famous for its light. It is a brilliant church. The huge windows allow so much 
sunlight to penetrate and that makes this beautiful church just brilliant it just so happened that I came here around sunset time and look how brilliant the church is how bright so it's the gothic architecture with the beautiful columns and ceiling but the brilliance of the interior look at that and uh, about 100 meters north from the beautiful church of our dear lady we find the magnificent Baroque church of Awesome Church built between 1732 and 1736 by the Awesome Brothers Egid and Cosmos this is an absolute masterpiece of Baroque architecture design and magnificence now if you look in my channel you will find the awesome church built by the same brothers in Munich we're going to deal with the interior of this church in a separate video for now here's a view of the magnificent front and it will cost you three euros to enter the church in Munich is for free and in my opinion far superior to this one but this is by far the most magnificent church from an interior design perspective in the city of Ingolstadt magnificent and uh, that's the awesome church the front of the church that you see there in the distance and uh, here's a very important building in German history this is the Tilly house T-I-L-L-Y house this is where General Tilly died a field marshal from the 30 years war he was wounded in 1652 and he died from his wounds in this house there's a plaque here on the side of the building right there that commemorates his death if you come to Ingolstadt you will see crowds German crowds gathering here listening to their guides about the history of this building the Tilly house walk around as much as possible in this magnificent old town and enjoy the views of the beautifully colored houses you see a small sample right here if you are lucky to come here when it's sunny you will enjoy walking around the streets and admiring all these beautiful buildings painted in a huge variety of colors enjoy its many beautiful squares and fountains like this one here I am now right in the center of the old town and here we find a large square and at the northern end of the square a magnificent old town hall or city hall 
built in the 17th century and it is absolutely gorgeous. Painted in bright red colors, it shines when it's sunny. Now if we go around the square towards the northern direction, we find another jewel of the old town and it's this structure that you see in front of us right there you see the huge bell tower this is the church of Saint Moritz M-O-R-I-T-Z another one of Ingolstadt's trademarks and this is right in the center of the old town now it is Sunday, they are getting ready for Mass. We can go inside for just a few seconds because there is something in here that we shouldn't miss. Come on, let's go inside and I will explain to you what's so important about this church. Okay, we get the chance to come inside for just a few minutes inside this magnificent church here, right in the center of the old town of Ingolstadt, the church of St. Moritz. It's a beautiful Gothic church, a very large church, but what's really exceptional here is the altar, the altar piece that you see right there in front of us. It is a truly magnificent altarpiece. One of the most beautiful in Germany. You can see a few Baroque elements, like this pulpit. But this altarpiece here, with the stained glass windows behind it, is just absolutely magnificent. around let's continue our walk around Ingolstadt and uh, let's now leave the town hall square and the old town of Ingolstadt behind us let's move towards the southern direction and let's cross a very large bridge that you see here over the beautiful and world famous river of Danube. You can see it flowing right below us here. We're interested in going towards that direction, just south of here, in order to visit a couple of palaces. Come on, let's go. And uh, that's the beautiful river Danube that you see just north of me. And here, if I turn around 50 meters away from the river Danube, I find a magnificent palace. This is the Tilly Palace, built by Ludwig I in the 19th century. A different person from Ludwig the Bearded that I mentioned to you earlier and it is an absolutely magnificent structure it was named after the Marshal Tilly the general during the 30 years war here in Europe and we're very lucky the door is open we may get a chance to view a small part of the palace complex look at the beautiful architecture let's go inside and hopefully we'll be allowed to videotape. Here we are. 
Here's the corner tower round. What a unique architectural style for a palace. It is circular. Everything represents the geometric shape of the circle, including the towers right there and this huge building here inside the courtyard. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's go next door because there's something else. Another interesting place to visit. Before we move on, I wanted to show you one of the main entrances to the palace, to the Tilly Palace. You can see the magnificent architecture from out here. There is a plaque right there mentioning the name of Ludwig I and the year of the construction of the palace, which is 1828. How beautiful everything is from this point. And uh, that's one of the corners of the Tilly Palace. If we turn around, there's a building attached to it right there. And that is the first part of the Bavarian Military Museum. We're going to see the second part of the museum where we visit another palace in just a few minutes. And continuing down from here, we're going to go and visit some beautiful gardens. Come on. And uh, that's Tilly Palace that you see there in the distance in the square building in front of it is the Bavarian Military Museum and here we find beautiful gardens and fountains and this place gets very very crowded and busy when the weather is sunny with people riding their motorcycles. Now let's turn around and let's cross these gardens and visit a beautiful and very historic building. Come on, let's go this way. And that's Tilly Palace, the gardens and the Bavarian Military Museum that we can see ahead of us, about 300 meters ahead of us. If we were to turn around, we find another magnificent building here next to the gardens. It was built at the same time as the Tilly Palace around 1828, but now it is used as the police museum. It is circular in shape, and once you cross this entrance, you will see its magnificent architecture. Luckily, it is open. Here it is. It looks circular from outside, but once you enter, it will remind you of a Roman arena, like the Colosseum, as far as the shape is concerned. I've been here a few times. I have never seen an exhibit for the police, but that's what all the books say. What a magnificent building. Wow. Now let's exit and let's cross a small pedestrian bridge and go back into the old town of Ingolstadt. Okay, let's now cross this small pedestrian bridge. Let's 
cross over the river Danube. You see the beautiful river right there, beautiful views from up here. That's Tilly Palace right there. We're moving towards the northern direction and at the end of the bridge we're going to enter the old town of Ingolstadt once again. Right there to the left of the frame is the last place we're going to visit. That's the new palace. And hopefully the gate will be open and we'll get a chance to visit the courtyard. There's another view of the Danube on the other side of the bridge. Come on, let's go. Okay, we have once again entered the old town of Ingolstadt and here we find the beautiful new palace built by the Duke Ludwig the Bearded in 1418. Now the one of the gates is open so we get a chance to go inside and enjoy views of one of the courtyards of the palace. Come on, let's go. And uh, here's the entrance. Let's go through. Let's go up to the courtyard. Now remember when I said there was a Bavarian military museum next to the Tilly Palace and that was the first part of the museum. Well, the second part of the museum is here, attached to this palace. So if you buy a ticket, you're going to have to visit both of them. Well, if you have enough energy to do so, that is. Here we are, all alone. In a couple of hours, this place will be full of people. That's the palace part of the palace anyway. It's a huge complex, really. And here we find a very large collection of German guns. And that part of the palace in the far distance is the second part of the Bavarian Military Museum. This is what a German gun from the 17th century looked like. And here's the second gate which has made Ingolstadt famous. The entrance to the new palace. It's a beautiful gate with a clock tower on top of it. And that's the second gate that acts as a trademark or emblem for the city of Ingolstadt. And once we go through the gate, we will enter the old town of Ingolstadt once again. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me. It's been a real pleasure being here in Ingolstadt for a couple of days and videotaping all these beautiful places for you and trying to figure where every building is, who built it, the time frame and so on. That's because most of the travel books are very inaccurate concerning the history and the buildings of Ingolstadt. This is Vic. Time to continue my drive towards the northern direction here in Germany. Bye-bye.